We're going to take a look at the Cleveland Browns. You talk about a city that's frustrated. I mean, this is, it's unbelievable how good these rosters look and how bad these teams, this Browns can actually go out there and, I mean, they can shit the bed, man. I tell you, uh, they pay unbelievable money to Deshaun Watson. Now, we're not going to talk about his off-field stuff, but when was the last time the Browns had a winning year? we got to go back to when they, 2020. They were 12-6. and six. The fantasy, I believe, was coach, uh, coach of the year, or the offensive coach of the year, whatever. But... They got Watson, they got wide receivers, they got the running back, they got their offensive line, they have a good defense, they got a rabid fan base, they got everything. This is the team that should win the AFC North. They have the talent. Overall, this is the team that should win. However, you're going back, what, 50, 60 years of frustration? The culture is just not there. Now, how good is Stefanski? I don't know. He certainly hasn't produced to the degree that he should. If he doesn't do it this year, I think he's out. So he, his ass is on a hot seat. Um, if Deshaun Watson can play like he did, and you've got to remember, this guy is not, uh, you know, he missed two years, hardly played at all last year. But he's healthy. He's talented. We know he's talented. Just go back. I mean, look at what he did in Houston. Look at what he did in college. If he is focused and he is back in the shape that he should be in, this team can do a lot. He's 28 years old. <laughs> this, is, this isn't like bringing in Aaron Rodgers, 39 years old. This, this is a 28-year-old guy that can actually play the game and at a very high level. They're running back. I mean, their offensive line, defense is strong. And now, they open at home against Cincinnati. Then they go on the road to Pittsburgh. Then they play Tennessee, Baltimore. That's four really tough games. Then they get an open date and they get back and, hey, guess what? They have to play San Francisco. So then they go on the road to Indianapolis and Seattle, and then at home to Arizona. They could easily win two out of those three. I don't think they win at Seattle. Seattle's tough. They're going to be tough. Then they go to Baltimore. This is a tough schedule. But everybody in this division has a tough schedule. This is going to be a hell of a year. They, I mean, they can do some, they can actually be better and still not go anywhere because the schedule is so tough and the teams in their division are so tough. But I would be surprised. No, I shouldn't say that. When you're talking about the Browns, you shouldn't be surprised to say they might actually have a bad year and not make the playoffs because that's what they usually do. They usually have a bad year and don't make the playoffs. But they statistically, fundamentally, everything should be right there to win this division, if not make the playoffs as a wild card. It's good. Interesting to watch. I love the situation there. I love what they got, the talent they have on the field. I just don't know if they can overcome the culture. And culture is very important. And uh, we will see. Be back with the Pittsburgh Steelers very soon.